Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. So, Spirit is saying here that this, this energy has been coming through in the weekly reading. Spirit is saying that you guys are being protected. Something is about to blow up here. Something is about to blow up and Spirit is saying that you guys have a feeling that something is about to blow up. Somebody's about to blow up. Something is about to blow up in somebody's face. Somebody is, is about to hit their breaking point. It's like you guys know that somebody's like on the tip of the iceberg or like, what am I trying to say? It's like you guys know a situation is about to hit the fan or you know a person is about to maybe hit rock bottom. So, you know, you guys have an inner knowing or feeling that something is about to blow up. And I don't, it could be for you guys, but I don't feel like it's you because spirit says that they're protecting you. There was maybe um, some type of divine intervention that happened that was actually divine protection. Spirit says you need to pay attention to your dreams, the so songs. You guys could be getting, you guys could have a telepathic or energetic connection with somebody. If you guys are not already feeling that, feeling that somebody is about, something's about to blow up in somebody's face or a situation is about to blow up or become very chaotic. I feel like you guys may start feeling that way in the future. It's like there's somebody here that hasn't been taking action. They've been stagnant. They haven't been taking any action. This is somebody that you maybe view as you viewed as the one for you or somebody that you are romantically involved with. It could be your twin flame. Um, Somebody that you were loyal to. It's like somebody waited to the last minute to do something. Or somebody has been procrastinating something. And it's going to bite them in the butt. That's what this is. Somebody's been procrastinating something. Not taking action to get their life together. And it's about to bite them in the butt. Somebody is realizing that their time is running out as well. So this could be somebody that... Mm. So you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was keeping, first of all, take it how it resonates, guys. Some of you guys could have been dealing with someone that was either keeping you a secret, trying to keep your connection on the down low. Or you're going to find out that somebody that you were dealing with, they had a, another, they had a side chick or a side dude, a side relationship, a mistress. And that situation is about to be exposed or blow up. But I feel like this is somebody that was maybe, this is somebody that took too long or procrastinated something here. And now they're about to, it's like they were gambling with something here. They were not taking action. They were procrastinating, even though they were getting all types of signs and synchronicities of what they needed to do. They still didn't take action. And now something is about to run out. There's time running out here or there's a deadline that they're probably not going to meet or it's like they're not going to get something done or it's like there's something here is about to blow up in their face because they took too long. They procrastinated. They were they were unwilling to take a risk or a leap of faith. And the divine was trying to guide this person to do so. This could have been maybe with this this them keeping a relationship secret. Maybe you guys were like, either we're going to be like actually together and not, I, I'm not going to be your secret anymore. So either we're going to be together or we're never going to be together again. I'm moving on. Something along, let's get some more details. We have obsession. This person is obsessed with you. There's somebody that's obsessed with you. This person is feeling tied down by some type of family situation. They maybe feel obligated to a family member or they feel obligated, like they have children that they feel, ob obviously they are obligated to their children. But it's like, or maybe they feel obligated to, like they have a family with somebody else and they feel stuck or weighed down in that situation. They feel chained to that situation. Yeah, they feel confined in a family situation or they feel like, Somebody could be 
It could be a pregnancy. It could be children. It could be money. It could be emotional manipulation going on here. And they're just, they feel very, this person's a very lonely. They feel very alone. They're very depressed and sad. This person has a lot of toxic people around them and they have a lot of toxic behaviors within themselves. This person's trying to avoid talking to you at this time. They're trying to avoid, it's like this person has been trying to avoid getting on the same page as you. You've been like saying either you're going to meet me halfway or probably you're going to be gone. But this person has been avoiding maybe making a decision about that. And then we have synchronicities again. This person has been getting all types of signs about what they should do. But they've been running from them. They've been ignoring them. Um, and it does look like this person has been involved with some type of karmic. And, or there's some type of third party here. That's been causing delays is what I feel. But look, there's something that's about to happen in the future that's going to cause this person a lot of fear and a lot of panic. I'm telling you guys. Or this person has a lot of anxiety about the future, their future. But I'm telling you, there's something here that's going to happen in the future. And this person's going to need some help. They're going to need some assistance to get themselves out of a situation because something is about to blow up. Somebody's about to do something petty or jealous or something petty or do something out of jealousy. I do see this person trying to, they're going to be coming back with some type of offer. I see them returning in the future with an offer of commitment or a proposal because they're not satisfied. But I'm telling you guys, it could be a court situation. They, like, Okay, guys, let me just give you an example of what could be going on. So maybe this person needed to take their, they needed to go to court with the person that they have children with for a long time, but they were procrastinating it and they didn't go do it. Okay. Something is about to blow up like the, the other, the third party or their, the person they have children with is about to take them to court and maybe take, be, take the children or they're going to get, they, they, I feel like they're about to have like a, they're about to be blindsided with some being served with some papers, being taken to court. Somebody's going to try to take custody away from them, take some time, sue them. There's going to be something here happening. Like. It, look at this. This is two cards about court. This person was staying in denial. They didn't want to face the truth. But somebody is about to do something to them out of revenge. Somebody is about to do something very um, vengeful to them. Because this is somebody that has some type of, they have bad blood with this person. Or there's somebody that has ill feelings towards them that's going to do something to try to punish them. And I see them, it's like gonna, it's going to be a roller coaster. It's going to be crazy, guys. It's like whatever is about to happen is going to be very harsh and it's going to like maybe completely cut. It's like somebody's getting cut off. Like something extreme is about to happen. Somebody's about to do something to your person. Extreme. Harsh. Cut them off in some way. And we have legal here. I'm telling you guys. And then we have cut off again. So it's like this person's about to get a restraining order taken out against them. They're about to get their custody of their children taken away. Um, they're about to get served with divorce papers, have to pay alimony. Something here, something crazy is about to happen. Okay, let's get some more clarity. Okay, tell me more about protection. Tell me about Archangel Michael. You guys are maybe being protected by Archangel Michael at this time. We have Moocher. So, the, oh, hold up. So either this person was trying to use you in some type of way. This person could have been trying to use you energetically, use you because they were lonely. Or there's about to be some type of divine intervention because I told you somebody's getting cut off. So either you guys are cutting this person off because you feel like they were using you in some way. Or somebody you're dealing with, they're about to be going to cutting somebody off that it has been using them. Somebody has been mooching off of your person or mooching off of you. And that person's getting cut off. There's about to be some type of divine intervention. So tell me about pressure cooker. Divination spying. Some, someone is consulting to get... 
I'm telling you, somebody's talking to a lawyer. I feel like somebody is meeting with a lawyer. Tell me more about divination spying. Third house. How someone processes knowledge, communication, one generation. Knowledge rules. It's like somebody is about to receive some type of communication. It's like somebody's trying to get some dirt on somebody. Somebody could even be getting tarot readings to figure out what they should do. But I'm just, I'm heavily getting with the consulting. That's what's standing out to me. This person, somebody's consulting a lawyer. Trying to get dirt on the other person to use against them in court. Hmm. Tell me more about alien with well, telepathic dreams, songs. Ballin. Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting to have the most expensive things in life. Okay, what's that have to do with this? Nosy. So somebody is like really mooching off of another person. It's like Somebody is like very bougie, but they don't have the money to back up that bouginess, okay? they And I feel like they're maybe trying to leech or use somebody else to be able to fund their lifestyle. Keep their money good. Hmm. And this is somebody that's all, all up in their business. Always is all up in their business, asking too many questions, always wants, it's like they, they keep close tabs on you or they keep close tabs on this person. Hmm. Tell me more about crickets, non-action, intelligent. So this person has been not taking action because they've been trying to strategize. Tell me more about, for clout. This person maybe has been stalling because they don't want to end up alone. This person has a fear of, they, 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 they hate being lonely or being alone. They like attention. So tell me more about that. Hidden agendas. So they have other plans. They've been strategizing something here. No limit. See? It's like somebody will use somebody until they have nothing left. Like somebody will completely drain a person and not feel bad about it. It's like somebody may be giving like what I'm getting here, guys, is that somebody knows how to manipulate a person. Somebody knows how to manipulate a person. But they do that so that they can continue to use them. They have to get their money. Hmm. So what does this have to do with silence and non-action? That they've been in some type of, they've been in this like toxic cycle with this person. That's why this person hasn't been taking any action. They could be codependent on that situation. Just like have an addictive relationship. That's usually how karmic relationships are. Interesting. All right. Tell me more about twin flames. The one. Okay. Fake friends. It's like, what does this have to do with my collective? Yeah, off the grid. Somebody's, it's like you guys may be, may be going into hermit mode. You guys may be like deactivating your accounts. You guys may be just like not speaking to people as much. Not socializing as much, going doing a lot of introspection. And we have mirrored here. So it may also like trigger this person to do the same thing. It's like maybe you and this person are both in this energy where you guys feel like you've had a lot of people around you that have been using you. It's like you and this person are both going into hermit mode. And you guys are both realizing that you guys have had people around you that are using you and draining you. Fake friends. 
toxic family members. People that talk bad about you when you're not there. People that you guys maybe have a lot of people around you that have a lot of issues with money. So they maybe come to you. You always have to pay for them. You loan them money. But there's something I feel like you and this person are both maybe withdrawing from your social circles. And like, because it's like, you guys maybe feel ignored. We have ignored on the back of the deck. You feel like these people don't hear you. Hi, Valerie. What's, why, what's time running out for? Uh-oh, what's this have to do with anything? What about mad and upset? Ex-lover. Their ex, okay, somebody's ex is getting upset here. I told you. They're, all right, why are they mad? Slacker, because, okay. So this karmic that they're dealing with is about to get upset with them because they're not going to be, be able to give them like child support, alimony. They're not going to be able to help them financially. This ex, this karmic, is going to be mad and upset because of some money issues. They feel like they're slacking or something. Like, they're going to be mad because they feel like they're a slacker. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're not giving them as much money as they're supposed to be giving them. They're not. They don't feel like they're making them a priority or making the kids. Something about make, not, maybe not making the kids. So, what's the deadline? Eavesdropping. I'm telling you, somebody's been watching... Somebody needs to be careful because somebody could be hacking into social media accounts, reading conversations, getting dirt on the other person. Somebody's being watched here. They have people maybe watching your person. There could be people watching your person or watching you. So be careful. All right, what's this gamble? Take a risk. The situation involves debt. Yeah. It's like a cycle. Somebody needs to take a leap of faith and end a cycle here and start new. And it'll be great. It'll be lead to a lot of growth. But I feel like somebody has not been taking that leap. It's like part of them wants to take the leap of faith and the other part of them is scared or they're, they're not sure. It's like they're in two minds about this or they're like, uh, they need to make like they're stuck between their heart and their mind. But we have here being an inspiration. All right, tell me more about role model, energy drainer. Yeah, it's like so. Tell me more. What's this mean for my collective? This person is like very in unstable. This person that you guys are dealing with, they're very unstable themselves. This person looks up to you and you guys have been a very positive influence on them. You guys could have been very encouraging, uh, gave this person a lot of good guidance. But it's like this person is draining. This is an energy vampire that you guys have been dealing with. This karmic, or it's like this person has somebody draining them and making them feel conflicted. And that's why they are like not wanting to take this leap of faith. This karmic could be causing a lot of confusion for this person. But this karmic isn't who they think they are. This karmic is actually very vindictive and spreading false information about this person. Or even about you if they know about you. This person, this karmic lies a lot and spreads spreads misinformation. They could be talking bad about how, you know, what their relationship was like and it could be things that are not true. They, like, they're talking, they're talking crap about this person. Or they have, if they know about you, they're talking crap about you too. Okay. Let's not do it. Unimpressed. Yeah, it's like you guys are like, I'm too good to be someone's little side chick or somebody's secret. Like, I feel like you guys are like, just no. You guys, like, this person is what has been wanting to keep you a secret or wanting you to be like maybe friends with benefits or something along the lines of that. And it's like, no, you guys are like, no, I'm not interested in that. I'm too good for that. Yeah, and this person wants to put you, it's like this person wants to keep you a secret because they're in this third party situation or there's a third party interfering. I feel like this 
person has toxic family and toxic, a toxic karmic ex or something here, baby mom, baby dad. But it's like they they think about you all day. So they're in this messy karmic situation with this person, but they're thinking about you all day. They can't stop thinking about you. They think about being in a romantic relationship with you. Sharp tongue. This is probably somebody that has no filter. This is somebody that has no filter. It's like they don't think before they talk. Tell me more. They maybe say harsh things. They don't get their words out good. Heartbreaker. Yeah, somebody maybe said something to break somebody's heart. They say hurtful things or they maybe said something to you that hurt them or you guys maybe said something to them that was hurtful. What's this mean for my collective? Stress. Yeah, this person stresses you out. This karmic could even try to act like you guys or be you. Somebody's maybe trying to be you. Tell me more about this. More than friends. Divorce. Gorgeous. This could be somebody that there's distance between the two of you. It could be emotional distance or there is physical distance. Stalking. They're watching you. Even if there is distance between the two of you, they're watching you. Tell me about gorgeous. If you guys aren't speaking, they're keeping tabs on you. Mental prison. Somebody doesn't have good self-worth here. Somebody has low self-esteem. This is somebody that maybe tries to copy. Like, they, they can't be their own person. They don't know how to be their own person. They don't have their own style. They're not a very, like, they're not their authentic self. Or it's like, this person copies what other people do. This could be like a follower type person. So what does this have to do with divorce? Hooked. It's like, they're not with somebody anymore. But it's like, either they're still addicted to this relationship with this ex. Or this, this ex is addicted to them. What's this more than friends mean for my collective? Karma. So this is maybe somebody that told you that they were done with their ex. But that's not the truth. That's not the truth. So this is somebody that, yes, they maybe got a divorce from a person. Yes, they maybe broke up with that person. But what they didn't tell you is that they were still very much emotionally invested in that person. Obsessed with that person a little bit. Their ex, their karmic. All right? That they were, be they were in more than a, a friendly relationship with this karmic or this ex. They didn't maybe tell you that. This person feels like you're a lot at a, at a higher level. They think you're they're out of, that you are out of their league. They think you can do a lot better than them. But it's like this person's about to is getting some type of karma. So whatever is about to blow up with this third party is their karma for putting you in a third party situation for not for not being honest with you about their intentions and not letting you know that they still have feelings for their karmic ex. So now they're about to reap some type of karma. So, let's take a look to see what this person's karma is going to be. Mm. I already can see it's something about court. Something's about to blow up with this karmic. Something is about to blow up with this karmic and it's karma. Huh. <sighs> All right, tell me about what's going to happen. What's about to blow up? What's this person's karma? What's this person's karma? Well, we have woman. That's that karmic. I'm telling you guys, it's the karmic delays. So the karmic is causing, the karmic has definitely been causing a lot of stagnancy for this person. Rebuilding. Dreams. There's dreams again. Pink diamond. Mm, hold up. 
celebration, divine intervention, man. Their secrets. I'm telling you, we have deception, we have secrets, hidden factors, moving in silence. Somebody's doing something, but it's like somebody knows that about this. You guys maybe have a feeling, like you guys are like, I always know. Like you guys maybe have like this inner knowing, like things are gonna blow up with that karma. They're gonna get some karma because you don't treat people like this and get away with it. It's like you guys have some type of feeling that something's about to happen to this person, or like some type of karma. They're about to reap some type of bad karma. It's like there's something being hidden. There's something going on behind the scenes. But what I'm seeing here is like, I feel like you and this person are, are were fated to be together. But it's like, you and this person had the opportunity to rebuild something here. But it's like they've been stagnating the situation. They've been stagnating it. Spirit's really still not telling me what this person's karma is going to be. Mm, tell me more. Tell me, what's this person's karma? Time off, okay. Renewal. The hidden, okay. The devil. What about the devil? Poor health. What's going to cause poor health? Changes, burnout. It's like something is about to happen that they have no control over. Something is about to happen that they have no control over. It's like this person's going to have no choice but to face their shadow self. It's like they're going to realize that somebody that they maybe thought was good or that they trusted was actually a, an enemy. They've been hiding their true intentions or they've been doing something behind their back. They've been doing something in silence. Tell me more. And it's going to like be very shocking. Tell me more about this. What's the shocking event? Clean up. Yeah, look at this. It's like this person's about to get swept under the rug. Pushed aside. Passion. What about passion? Children. I knew children was going to come out. Ooh, what does this have to do with anything? Uh-oh. Tell me more about this. Children. Karmic justice. What about passion? Learning. So this person is <laughs> this person is learning a lesson in uh, sleeping with people. Like, you know, they may have gotten into a relationship with this karma based off of just pure sexual intentions, passion. And they're about to learn that you don't just sleep with anybody. You don't just impregnate anybody, okay? Like, there's something to do with the children. I feel like somebody's children are about to get taken away. Or they're about to be served for custody of their kids or something here. Tell me more about, but it's going to be a lesson. Somebody's learning a lesson in being lustful. That's what it is. This was maybe somebody that got around a lot. They slept with a lot of different people. They acted on lust, maybe ended up knocking somebody up, having children with somebody, and now they're learning a lesson for doing that. Tell me more about passion. Take a risk. Tell me more about this. Round and round. Somebody was also, it's like maybe they were staying in a relationship with somebody or keep they kept dealing with somebody because for sexual reasons. They could be still sleeping with that karmic and they were staying for only like because of the passion. This person was refusing to get out of their comfort zone. They are maybe just refusing to get out of their comfort zone and pursue. I feel like this person has had a lot of passion about you as well. But it's like they've been afraid to take a risk. So instead of pursuing what they really feel passionate about, they've been just repeating the same cycle with this karmic over and over again. Staying in their comfort zone, their toxic comfort zone. Yeah. When there's a new opportunity that's been waiting for this person with you. That could lead to a lot of happiness. Surviving. But this person's choosing to struggle. This person's cho choosing to struggle and barely like. They're choosing to be burnt out. To have money issues. Sad news. Yeah. So tell me more about this. But it's like they're going to be. It's going to slap this person in the face. I told you guys. Look at this. Sad news and contracts. This person's about to get served with legal papers. I'm telling you. I don't know how many times I've told you guys. But this person's about to get served papers. Or they're going to be going to court. And they're going to be very disappointed about this. They're not going to be happy about this. But it's their own fault. Alright. It's their own fault. Because they, they should have got this situation handled. 
a long time ago, but they procrastinated it. And now it's about to blow up in their face. And this may not go in their favor now because they didn't get ahead of the situation. Okay. And we have, and that's when this person's going to want to reconcile with you. I'm telling you because they need your guidance. This person looks up to you. They admire you. They think you're very smart. They think you're very strategic. This person's going to need your, your help. So that's when this person is going to come in with that offer. That's when they're going to come in and want to try to restore this relationship with you because they're going to need your leadership. They're going to need your logic. They're going to need your, your smarts. You know what I mean? And this person's just going to be bored with their life too. So I do see that this person's going to want to date. They may reach out to you online after some time of thinking, but I'm telling you, it's this, this person's going to try to reconcile with you because they need, whose reading was this? This reminds me of, I think it was Gemini's reading for the past week. It was similar to this. It was like, they took you for granted and now they need your help or something like that. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or you are a Gemini, this, this collective could really resonate with you. All right. So let's get you guys some advice. Whew, I'll tell you. All right, I'm telling you guys, you guys could be getting pummeled with repeating numbers, synchronicity, signs from the divine, or they're seeing them and they don't even recognize them. But there's something here about dreams, telepathic, te telepathic messages, um, downloads, repeating numbers, okay, angel numbers. So Spirit says, pay attention and, and observe what is happening within and around you. Your angels are sending you messages and signs. We have opposites. So you and this person could be very different, all right? Um, it says perfect is an illusion. The two of you might be total opposites, but in that way you complete each other. You have more in common than you think. And then we have love sacrifice here. Spirit says you guys were sacrificing yourself by loving this person or by continuing to put effort and energy to this person because they were probably not reciprocating that back to you. So it just left you guys feeling unhappy and not feeling good about yourself. It says you guys need to make sure that you are being, choosing to be with someone that makes you feel good, makes you feel happy and loved and cared for. All right. We have overthinking here. Somebody's overthinking things. It says your mind is going round in circles trying to find a way through the confusion. Breathe. Whatever choice you make, it will come from the heart. So some of you guys, when this person actually does come towards you, it is going to maybe kind of like, you know, throw you off a little bit. But listen to your intuition. We have hot gossip. Yeah, there's something here about a, somebody's like gossiping about your person or they're gossiping about you. There's gossip about this person or this situation. It says it's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only have negative things to say when they don't know nothing about you. Like if this karmic knows about you, they're talking crap about you. And they don't even know you. It says, oh boy, kids, love can get real complicated when children are involved. Give them the space and time to sort things out and do the right things, the, do things the right way. Yeah, this is a situation where there's children involved. This is somebody that has children with an ex. They have children with a karmic. And that's why the situation is extra complicated. We have casual. That, and this person was not wanting a serious commitment with you. They were wanting to maybe casual date, have friends with benefits, uh, friends owned you. If casual dating is not your thing, it might be time to look elsewhere. This guy has no intention on settling down anytime soon. It's up to you, babe. And we have obsession. I told you this person's obsessed with you. Is it love, obsession, or infatuation? Ask yourself if you can if you can slow down or not allow thoughts of them. It says, ask yourself if you can slow down or not allow thoughts of them to consume you and just let love naturally unfold. Okay, so that's how you will know whether or not it's like what, if it's love, infatuation, or obsession. We have speak up. Someone is not expressing their true feelings. Problems would get solved and your love life would get easier if both of you were open and honest. So somebody, I feel like if this person has not been honest to you, honest with you about how they truly feel about you. All right. And if they were, that would have changed a lot of things or improved the situation. All right. So let's get some channeled messages to wrap up the reading. 
All right, channel messages for my collective from this person. We have, I care a lot about what people think. Yep, I told you. My friends are very important to me, and if they don't like a potential partner for me, I let the new love go. I need someone who can be close with my friends because they take up a lot of my time, and they influence how I view potential lovers. So this is somebody that they maybe told their friends about you, and maybe their friends, or maybe their friends know you and don't like you. Or they took some type of stupid advice from their friends about the, the situation. Or they're like not committing to you because they're afraid of what their friends or their boys, their girls will think. It says, I feel like you are so much better than me. I told you guys that too. I am a competitive person, but I cannot compete with you. I was hoping to be with someone who saw me as a hero. You are your own hero. I need to figure out how to feel confident in that situation. You make this person feel insecure. I am looking for a solid commitment. I am ready for the next step in life. To settle down with someone and spend the rest of my life with them. I just don't know if that person is you. I'm still figuring out if you are the one the one for me. I can't decide if I want to keep you. Mm. And we have here. I don't know how to tell you that I am just not in love with you. I wish we could go back in time to prevent... Our connection from getting to this point i don't want to lose how you make me feel i told you this is why this is this is a draining situation because this person no like this person is refusing to reciprocate okay this person likes the energy and the love that you give to them but this person is not willing to give it to you okay or they're not emotionally available they're not aware of how they feel about you they're not aware of their emotions and feelings it says i don't want to lose how you make me feel but i don't want a romantic connection from you it's like this person doesn't want to be in a relationship but they still want that love and that attention and that affection and support that you give to them all right one more and that's selfish and they're about to get their karma for that guys and then that's when they're going to be running to you you have all you have all of me but look but i can't let you know that so guys i'm telling you this person tries to tell themselves that they're not in love with you but they are it's this person's in denial about it they have loving feelings for you they try to deny it but they do you guys, this person's obsessed with you, but they don't want you to know that because this person has an ego and a pride issue. It says, you have all of me, but I can't let you know that. I need to keep my independence and I don't want you to think you have power or control over me. This person likes to feel like they're in control. I have a lot to learn about surrendering to love. I am not there yet. I know I am sending you mixed signals. I know I hurt you that way. I'm telling you guys, this person likes to be in control of situations, but there's something that's about to happen. So this is like, this person's getting karma. This person's a control freak. They will do, they will go to, they will do anything to, to feel like they are in control of the situation. And I feel like this person is also getting karma for being a control freak. I feel like this person was manipulative in some way and they're going to get karma for that. This person hurts you. They kept, they strung you along. They were using you. They were draining you. They, they like the energy that you gave to them, but they were not willing to give you anything back. So they're about to get karma for that. There's something that's about to happen to them since they want to be in control of everything and control other people, manipulate people. They're about to feel manipulated. They're about to feel like whatever's about to happen to them is out of their control. It's like something's about to happen that they're not even going to be able to prevent or stop. What well, they probably did have an opportunity to prevent it, but they were a procrastinator. All right, what's the back of the deck say? It says, your emotional sensitivity is beautiful, but sometimes I just don't know how to com comfort you when you need my support and caring words. I want you to be happy and healthy. I want you to know you can rely on me. I don't always have the words, but I do care. This is somebody that's just not very emotionally in tuned. They're not in tune with their emotions. They're not very, they don't like vulnerability. They do care about you, but they don't know how to tell you that. They don't know how to really show that. So this person has issues with emotions and, and affection here. All right. So I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. If this reading resonated with you guys, if this reading resonated with you guys,